What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Line Cook. Before we get out there on the water today, I just want to take a second and thank all my friends and family who helped me out buying this first round of t-shirts. As you can see, I got the logo there on the front. Came out so awesome. My sister Gab, she helped me out with it. And uh, yeah, I'm just super happy with how they came out. You know, as you can see on the back, we got a bass. And I chose that because that's how I got started fishing, was fishing for bass around here. And I'm curious to see how you guys got started fishing too. So let me know how that happened. So thanks for watching guys. And let's get out there on the water and catch some fish. All right. Out here at the jetty, another morning. We'll see what we can do, guys. You know, all the people come fishing here and they lose their line and it all gets stuck. Oh man, see, guys, it's not good. I mean, if people are just throwing their line out here like that, like, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they lost it. But it's kind of right here on the rocks. I don't know. Because that is better, not where we're fishing. It's pretty early right now. I decided I was going to get here at low tide and uh, see if there were any fish around. All right. Finally, first fish of the morning. Had to get him way out there at the jetty. Short. Yeah, he's probably like 15. Nice little guy. Let's get him back where he came from. See you later, man. All right, got him. He felt big when he was coming up. Another little flatty. So much fun fishing for fluke. Let's let that guy go. Feels like a good fish. Staying down. Oh yeah. Oh please don't come off, man. Wow. Oh, that's a nice one. He's 19. Definitely, I thought he was uh he just looks fat. Definitely a keeper. And definitely we're going to take that guy home and make something awesome out of him. For those of you who missed how to fillet it last time, let's start filleting this guy. It's a beautiful fish. What you're gonna do, make your incision there. All right. There's a line right here that you're gonna wanna follow. Straight down. At an angle. And just start scraping right below that bone. You'll hear it tick. Right through the other side. Come up. First fillet right there. Take the skin off. All right, so we're back in the kitchen, guys. Got the catch. And now it's time for the cook. So we got here some seared fluke over bacon, mushrooms, and leeks, crispy eggplant with a red pepper puree. Let's start with the eggplant. So what I'm gonna do is cut this into nice slices. 
So what we're gonna wanna do is draw the moisture out of this eggplant. So I'm gonna salt them, mix them up, and let them sit there for a half hour. So slice that leek in half, check it for any dirt, and slice it thin. I got two red bell peppers here, and I'm just gonna do a large dice. Also got half an onion, really big onion. Next, I like to actually have a, a nice dice on my mushroom, so I'm just gonna take the big ones, cut them in like that. Next is the shallot, I got one shallot here, and we're just looking for a nice, fine julienne. Now I'm gonna dice the homemade bacon, and if you haven't seen the video on doing that, definitely check it out, because this homemade bacon is delicious. Bacon! All right, it's been a half hour, and let's just rinse off the salt on that eggplant and let it drain. All right, so I got my eggplant here. We're ready to start breading it. What I got is a little bit of all-purpose flour, four eggs, and about two cups of fine breadcrumbs. We're just gonna go flour, egg, breadcrumb, bread these guys up right now real quick, just like that. I got my eggplant breaded up, and now I'm just gonna fry it in some vegetable oil. All right, the eggplant's fried off. Time to make that red bell pepper puree. Got about a tablespoon of butter in there. Let's put in the onion and pepper. Season it with salt and pepper. Starting to get a nice sweat on there. And I got about, I'd say a, a tablespoon of garlic in there. If you have a blender or a little thing like this, that works great. The peppers got really nice and tender. The onions are sweet. I'm gonna start off with about half. I don't wanna overload this. Color's great. It's really nice and smooth. But the only thing it needs is a little bit of acid. So I got some red wine vinegar. I'm gonna put a splash of that in there. That tastes so good. Start off by rendering out that bacon. Take a look at that. Bacon's rendered. Got all that bacon grease right there. Mushrooms. Look at that, mushrooms soaking up that bacon grease. Got that shallot, going right in. Going with the leeks. Sorry I didn't get it on camera, but I just used this pan, grilled some lemon, that's gonna be for garnish. Our leeks and mushrooms are cooking down real nice, gonna let those get nice and tender. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of garlic. Gonna go back in with the bacon. That looks really good. Bacon, mushroom, leek. So you want to wait till you add the bacon to add salt. The bacon's got salt, but it definitely needs a little bit. A little salt, a little pepper. Eggplant going in a 400 degree oven. It should get hot. A little bit of salt and pepper on uh, the fluke. Clarified butter in the pan. Let's lay that fish in. Oh yeah. Got some of that beautiful fish stock. Just gonna put a little bit of that in there. 
Get all that flavor. Little flippy do. And we're going to start plating. Wow, so that looks so good. We got our pepper puree, the crispy eggplant, the, the mushroom bacon leek mix, perfectly seared fluke. Can't wait to try it. Laura's, Laura's licking the plate. She so liked the sauce. I think it turned out really good, guys. You gotta give that one a shot caught the fish, brought it back, made an awesome recipe. If you guys like this video, definitely like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot if you wanna see more stuff like this. And I'll see you next time on The Line Cook.